Yo, what's going on homies? How are we doing on this lovely evening? I believe it's Wednesday today. I'm having issues getting my thing off my camera. Anyways guys, we're talking about crypto, you know, thing or two, two day death crosses. Well, it might be here. We'll see what the new daily close or, you know, I guess tomorrow's the next two day close, but still is getting closer to that two day death cross, which I do expect a massive pump in the price. Well, like, like when that happens, because usually when you see a death cross, you see a pump, a uh, golden cross, you see a dump. It just is what it is. So we'll go over that. Some good old news, fiat. Um, guys, Colorado's doing a thing as well. So guys, without further ado, smack that subscribe button, smack that like button if you guys have not already. So just jumping into the juicy price action of the good old BTCs on the two day chart. Every single candle is a two day chart right there. As you can see, the current price action of Bitcoin is $43,865. We do see on this current two-day chart, sorry, the current two-day candle, we see we have about one day left for the close. We'll see what will happen, but I do expect us to have the death cross tomorrow night when we close this candle. Um, it's very, very close. We can pull up to see the exact numbers. The 52-day moving average is 47300 bucks. The 200 is 471 it's up. They're about to cross. They're not that far away from each other. It's basically going to happen unless we all of a sudden just skyrocket up to a million dollars, which I don't know about you, but I don't think Becky thinks it's going to happen either. So it is what it is. But I mean, guys, just because we're seeing a death cross in two day, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm overly bearish. I think in the short term, we're going to see a pump. I think it's going to happen because usually, like I said, we do see stuff like that happen on the one day where it pumps when we have a death cross and it dumps when we have a golden cross. So just watch out for that. Don't be surprised when that happens. Of course, watch out for a BTC to rally, and then also rally, and then NFTs will rally once the Ethereum dumps. So just keep, keep that in mind. That's what we've seen over and over and over and over again. So watch out for that and do not get tricked by those little, you know, cycles that keep happening again and again. The one day we see price action is holding above the 50 daily moving average. We are, oh, look at that, guys. About to get the 20 daily moving average to cross above the 50. A daily moving average, that right there is a good sign to see in the short term. Hopefully it continues. We want to see, of course, the 20, the 50, and the 200. They're out of whack right now, but it looks like they might want to get back in order. So we'll see how this plays out. Getting that 20 above the 50 is definitely a good sign. Let's get it up there. Let's actually get above the, the 200. Let's get that 50 back above the 200, which is a golden cross. So we do want to see, let's break this down for you out there. We do want to see this purple line curve back up and get above the yellow line. We want to see it happen. That's called a golden cross. Hopefully it happens just like I drew it. Hopefully it happens March 10th, 2022. Probably not guys. I mean, it, it, like it is what it is. We need the price action to get above the 200 daily moving average, which currently is around 49.4. So watch out for that. I expect a lot of resistance up here if we would see a pump up there with this two day death cross. Watch out for that. Hopefully it's not a failed rally. Also want to point out, guys, the moon phase. If you believe in the moons, if you're one of those astrology gurus out there, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? I, th I think you know what I mean. If you're one of those, well, you'd be like, but homie, we're getting the bottom moon, man. We're getting the bottom. We're going to go to the moon. We're bottom right now. Yes, guys, we are. We're getting the bottom moon. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully all the astronomy homies are killing it with their, their moon cycles. Um, we've actually back tested this, and it actually has a terrible um, testing. So it's not that accurate. But... It's cool to look at because when you look back, you're like, oh, but it worked here, it worked here, it worked here, but then it doesn't work. Basically, what I have seen, it does have definitely a better um, um, like win rate, if you want to even call that, for like for the back testing. When you're looking at an uptrend, when, what, like when it's an uptrend like this, it's great. But when you start going chop, chopping sideways and going down, it's not so great. So if you see a nice where we're start, starting to go parabolic, then yes, it's great. But right now, maybe we're going to go parabolic. So there's zero guarantees. So in my opinion, it's not that great. But I know there's people that want to see it, so that's why I bring it up. Let's hit up the fear and greed and hit up the chat then. So fear and greed, 52, we're still neutral. <laughs> Switzerland with that white flag up there again. It is what it is, guys. We've been there. Nothing really updated there. Let's uh, hit up the bubbles while I hit up the chat. Look at this, guys, across the board. Whoa, rally making a... It's making a rally, guys. Look at that right there on the daily. It's behind the chat. Let, let, let me get rid of that. Let's see. Come on, come on, guy. Come on. Too, too, like, too bad we can't like blow in the bubbles and they just like go everywhere. Maybe he can make that happen in the iOS or Android app. We'll see. Anyways, what's up with the, uh, the chat tonight? How are we all doing? Oh, guys, like real quick before I get into it, Friday's live stream will be um, earlier than 7 p.m. So just a little FYI right there. What's up, Hero? What's up, Twitch Radio? We got preparing for war. What's up, guys? You bought the bottom today. Let's go. PN, where's Becky? Um, homie, Be Becky doesn't like to show her face. What's up, Kevin? What's up, Ginger? How we doing, homie? Josh was in the house. Mr. Thompson. We got jo uh, we got Jonathan Thomas in the house. What's up? 
What's good, homie? I hope you guys are doing well. Indecision time for BTC. Can't figure out what she wants to do. I'm, I'm feeling a fake out, but wouldn't be surprised if it pumped. Yeah, the thing is, guys, it, it can go either way. Uh, right now, like I said, I'm leaning more bullish because of the two-day death cross. But, yo, I mean, he, he, like, he's right. It can go either way. What's up, the ship, sir? We got Jose in the house, the real transporter. How we doing, guys? If you're a ninja watcher, feel free to, you know, comment. I'm a ninja watcher. And, guys, don't forget to vote. Will Bitcoin like, continue to rally? Which means, you know, increase in price. Let me know. Yes, no, or I don't know. Let me ask Becky. What's up, T-Bone? How we doing, Red Rose? How we doing, guys? It's been a minute, homie. Um, yeah, guys, so that right there is that. We got the daily looking eh. We got the hourly looking eh. Got the 15 looking, oh my goodness. <laughs> Sell everything. No, guys, don't freak out, guys. It's a great time to buy when things uh, dump. But the first thing here, guys, what's up, Tintin? First thing I want to go over, guys, if you're a miner, I know Eric, which I didn't see Eric's name. Did I see Eric in here tonight? He'll probably be in here a little bit later. Um, is... Scroll up here. You know, crypto miners exempt from IRS reporting rules, the U.S. Treasury affirms. It says the U.S. Treasury affirmed that crypto miners and wallet operators are exempt from the IRS reporting rules, preparing appropriate regulations. I need to fully understand what wallet operators mean. I mean, what's the definition? I don't know. We're about to figure it out. The cryptocurrency industry in the United States is about to score a major legal win as the United States Treasury Department plans to spare crypto miners and other ancillary parties from tax reporting rules. Guys, I love it. I love this juicy tax reporting rules. In a letter to a group of senators on Friday, the U.S. Treasury indicated that it plans to exempt crypto miners, stakers, and other participants from rules that would require crypto brokers to share data on their clients' transactions with an internal revenue service, aka IRS. It says, quote, I appreciate the Treasury Department affirming that crypto miners, stakers, and those who sell hardware and software for wallets are not subject to to tax reporting obligations by Senator Rob Portman. That's pretty cool, guys. He put it on the tweeters, so it must be real. Um, guys, I think that's awesome. If you're a minor, congrats. You're not probably gonna be, you're probably not going to pay too many taxes. Um, so, like, that's great. Not going to bore you guys with the rest of the details. But, like, that's awesome. That's an awesome win. Um, that right there is going to bring a lot of business. I mean, guys, just like, think about it. The, the, the people that have uh, factories of these things in, in America, they're not going to pay taxes on mining until they sell. Ooh, they're never going to sell, baby. They're going to take some Bitcoin-backed loans and whew, never going to sell. So, hey, let's go. Uh, I think that's what they're going to do because that's what the rich people do, guys. They don't pay taxes because they're smart. The rules are, are, are designed for the rich to keep the rich rich and the poor poor. It just is what it is. We kind of went over that last time a little bit. So, you know, hopefully not too much tonight. But that's cool. Um, let me know your thoughts. You guys taking advantage? Are you guys mining? What's going on there? Um, uh, like and up next here, guys, Colorado to accept crypto for tax payments by end of summer. That's pretty cool. I mean, the thing is though, I don't understand why you want to pay your taxes in crypto. Why not pay in uh, the dirty, the dirty, dirty, dirty fiat with some old president's faces on it? Why not pay, guys? We have garbage right here. Garbage. Why don't pay with garbage? I mean, I understand why you'd want to pay with crypto, but I mean, if that's all you have, if you're mining, maybe you want to do that. But you probably pay tax taxable event by paying that. So yeah, watch out for that, guys. Uh, is what it is. But yeah, I mean, pretty cool. Awesome. They're going to have it happen. I think other states have talked about it. it. It is what it is. So, so you know, yeah, it's pretty cool. Here you said, I, I wasn't going to report my mining rewards anyways until I cash them out. Now I, I can do it legally. Hey, let's go. Uh, all, all your crypto staked. Awesome. Yeah, staking rewards are not taxed. That's what, like, that's what's up. Uh, let's see. What's up, Donald? How we doing, homie? Uh, and I'm going to go in here, guys. This right here is uh, something I really want to hit on hard, guys. We have uh, Charlie Munger. Crypto traders want to get rich quick without doing anything for civilization. So, okay, I, I see his point. Um, pe people basically want to invest in magical internet money, as Trayvon Jones says. I think, I think that's his name. Um, and they just want to get rich, you know, magically. I get his point. I understand that, of course, people want to invest in crypto and they want to change their lives. But let me just take this guy's name. Let's just, you know, paste it in Google. You know, just some silly stuff. And let's just put in net worth. Let's see what this guy's worth. So just to give you some perspective, this guy's worth 2.5 billion. 2.5 billion dollars, okay, with a B. Not an M, with a B. And I just want to show you guys, there's a great picture I showed the other day on the live stream um, that really just just shows you, oh wow, um, interesting, really shows a good visual of, I guess I didn't save it, I'm so sorry, let's see.
Hang with me there, guys. I just wanted that nice visual because it's very hard to visualize a lot of money. Yes, th this is the picture right here. And I guess my face is going to be cut off. Why does Google Images do this? I do it's new. Anyways, you scroll down here. It just shows that's $100, 10,000, 1 million, 100,000, 1 billion. This is 1 trillion. He has 2.5 of these. 2.5. That's a lot of money. Guys, That like this is a lot of money, guys. One trillion dollars visualized is, is this much. You got a tractor trailer there. You got some big buildings, an airplane. This right here is one billion. Look at one billion dollars, yo. Look at that. He has 2.5 of those, okay? So just to visualize how much money he has. So he's over here saying that people, the average Joe wants to change their life. Change their, you know, the, they go from being middle class to financially free, being able to do what they want to do. And he's, and he's saying it's terrible without doing anything to civilization. Let me ask, what has Charlie Munger done for civilization, guys? What has Charlie Munger done? I have some things I'd like to say that I can no longer, I cannot say on YouTube um, because it's just not allowed. Um, it, I mean, it starts with a P. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, th that's all I can say right there. But maybe maybe he has something to do with the pri private island, maybe. I don't know. I mean, just uh, some crazy talk. Anyways, guys, the point is, um, don't let something like, something like this be like, oh wow, people are terrible people. They, like they just want more, like they just want, want more money. Guess what? This guy has two point five billion dollars. How can this guy be saying that? Like seriously, he wants you to be like, oh, just you just want to get in to make money. Of course you do. You you want to change your life. You want to change your family's life. You want to change it for generations. Okay. Of course you want that. I mean, if if he was here making twenty k a year, he he'd want to do the same thing. So I just think it's crazy that they they come out here and hate on people for it, but then like they want to be like, oh. Oh, like, you know, like this stuff's terrible. Of course the thing is terrible. This thing literally goes against your entire investing thesis. This right here will destroy what he has built. Getting rid of the centralized party it just destroys it, okay? Um, it's just something I'm super passionate about. Um, this stuff, you know, decentralization will destroy everything, guys. I don't know what, I don't care what it's a part of. Education, academia, the government, any kind of central party is going to go bye-bye, okay? We no longer need it. The problem is, though, is we have too many sheeple in the world and not enough people. So they believe the lies that, that people say that, oh, you're so terrible if you just invest in crypto because you just want to make more money. Of course you want to make more money. Money is a tool to allow you to buy your time, okay? So of course you want more money. Who doesn't want more money? It allows you to buy your time. You know what's the most precious, the most valuable thing in this world right now. Time. You can no longer get it back. But guess what? You can take some money. You can pay somebody to do something for you, which what does that do? That saves you time, okay? The more money you have, the more th the more time saving you can do by delegating things in your life, okay? It could be as simple as having somebody cl like clean up the house. It could be as simple as doing something for your business. It could be as simple as anything, okay? That's saving you time, which gives you more time, which which it doesn't give you more time. It saves you time. So now you can use that time to do something else. So either something you want to do for fun or maybe you have to do something else, whatever it is, it's allowing you to choose what you do with your time. And uh, I just think it's uh, it's just crazy, guys, you know, because they, they want to come in here and say how, you know, what was it, Warren Buffett um, says that Bitcoin's um, rat poison. Yeah, you know, bro, um, how about you try some rat poison and you let me know how, like, how it goes? Because I don't think anybody, uh, you know, has, you know, had rat, rat poison like when it comes to Bitcoin. I know it's just a, an analogy, but uh, it, it's very disgusting to hear this stuff come from people. Because people really do look up to, you know, like Warren Buffett. They, they, they think he's great. Uh, in my humble opinion, he's made money off of nothing internet. From what I've seen, it's nothing internet related, okay? It was all back in the day kind of stuff. So I don't understand why people are even taking this advice. Besides the whole buy and hold long term and just write things out. Like that definitely does work. But taking his opinion, I think is garbage. But that's my opinion. You guys let me know down below. You make your own opinion. What do you guys think? You guys think this is true? You think it's false? Obviously, I think it's true. But I think there's a reason why people are trying to do it. Because you've seen what happens, you know, like the past two years, guys, these lockdowns. We see what's happening in Canada, guys. The communism that's spreading. Of course, people want more money. Because what will money do? It allows them to basically save their time, buy more time, and uh, just have freedom, guys. It's just freedom. At the end of the day, it's about the freedom. To me, maybe it's about something else to you. Let me know your thoughts about that. Oh, money is freedom. Yes, money is definitely freedom. It, it buys you time, which in, which it then is freedom, of course. Uh, he said, T-Bone, accuse people of what you are guilty of is what Charlie is doing. <laughs> uh, what's, up? what's up, Paul? I'm watching that negative seven minutes. Hey, bro, you can hit live or put it on twice the speed. I, some people say I talk fast, though, so maybe you can't do that. 
Ooh, Dash is making a his flow is going. Uh, yes, James, I bet he has been invested in crypto. I bet he has. You guys, if you guys don't have Discord, what are you doing, homie? What are you doing? Was it the root transfer of your mind here and there? Hey, hey let's go. Make some bucks like here and there. Yeah, Red Rose, I think Eric's in there. They always change their names, so I, I never know what their names are. I think he's like Diamond... I think his name's like Diamond something now. Oh, I forget. But yeah, I mean, he, he's always in there. I think Joe has some rigs as well. Uh, Death Cross will probably happen tomorrow. Because... And, and guys, and specifically, don't go around saying, oh, the homie said is the Death Cross happened today. It's a two-day Death Cross, okay? The two-day Death Cross. Um, look at that. It'll close tomorrow. So at this rate, it's, it's either going to, it looks like it's going to happen. It's either going to happen tomorrow or in, uh, three days. Um, you can mute your, uh, discord, uh, noise, homie, Kevin. Yeah. Eric is diamond nuts for life. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's diamond nuts for life guys. So go, uh, go find him in there. Let's see what the pool says regarding uh, what will Bitcoin do. Let's see. Will Bitcoin continue to rally, aka increase in price? It says, uh, yes, no. I don't know. Let me ask Becky. We got 65% said yes. No was 27. And Becky, well, I guess we have to ask 7% for her. You guys, Ginger's in Discord. We got we got a lot of homies in Discord. We had Rose, we got Joe, we got, well, I guess Eric's now a different name. We got a lot of people. Somebody was selling illegal stuff in there. I had to ban them, guys. So guys, guess what, guys? If you're gonna try to sell like illegal stuff, you're gonna try to do that stuff, you're gonna get an instant ban. Um, and there's, there's no second chances, guys. Don't be selling stuff like that. Just wanna make that super, super clear. JD said, but uh, coin is going up as long as Russia's stuff works out, which honestly, I think we're not going to have war. So Bitcoin goes. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, though, I don't think, guys, this whole war thing is a play. It's just a play. It's just like manipulating people. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to, I don't think they're going to raise rates, in my humble opinion. Jose, so is the Death Cross something we want right now? I mean, guys, Death Cross is bearish. But in the short term, we usually see a pump when there's a Death Cross, more often than not. Oh, Kevin, you're modern if you okay. Yeah, that definitely changes it a little bit. Hey, was it Pedro Binance Yo? So finally be listing SLP. Hey, let's go. He said, what did they try to sell? Didn't see. Yeah, well, I got rid of it as soon as I saw it. So it's no longer there. Yes, of course, Joseph, long-term Bitcoin will prosper. That's of course. But people are trying to see what's happening now. So that's why I talk about it. I, I forget the name of the person. I, I could care less now because they're not coming back in there. But yeah, yeah, bro. It's no worries. Death Cross is bearish. Golden Cross is bullish. But usually in the short term, we see the opposite effect. Um, and we'll see, though. Like, we will see, though, because on the daily, we are getting... I mean, it's a possible reversal here, guys. It's possible that we reversed. But, I mean, guys, the weight of the two-day Death Cross... We go back here. The last, I got to pull up the BLX. My bad. Uh, the, the last time we had the death cross on the two day was back here in the Rona times, the Rona. So I don't know, guys. They say it is what it is. James said Bitcoin won't go below forty k. I mean, hey, bro, I, I wouldn't put it past that. I mean, it's definitely a possibility. But at this time, this is a possible. Let's bring it up on the most updated price chart because unfortunately, BLX is not updated. Anyways. We can definitely, like, this may have been, you know, the higher high here, higher low, higher high. That's what I'm hoping for. But that definitely does not mean that's going to happen. This could be a failed rally and we dump down. That's definitely a possibility. So just watch out for that. Um, and, you know, go from there, guys. As long as we're above 40, we're above 40. And that's good in my humble opinion. We'll see, how, like, how it all plays out. What's up, Eric? Oh, did G Yen Moon yet? Yeah, man, we're still waiting, guys. We're still main, waiting for the Japanese Yen to, to make, make some bucks. What was up? He said Alex Hobb was on earlier with a sixteen dollar margin trade. His fans were so excited. He went his wait. He he made sixteen dollars. I mean, congrats, bro. Um, cool. Coach Bailey Cooper, he said, "GN, don't bring that word up." <laughs> Yo, 
Guys, I warned you. I warned you. I, I told you guys, but I just, I, I told you so. It's all I have to say. Uh, I got a lot of hate for that. So I had to make sure to put it out there. That, uh, you guys, uh, eh. Yeah, bro, and I, I put what I buy in the Patreon, so if you guys want that, pay, like, the Patreon link's down below. Bro, I, I, I'd be excited to only, um, yeah. 16 dollar gas fees are cool. We all know homie buying ship, yo. <laughs> oh, the ship. How is ship doing? Ship, I mean, that guy, I, I, you know, it would be cool if we go back and find the guy that bought 50K worth. I wonder how he's doing. Because, oh, man. I, I, it's, it, it's hard to have sympathy for somebody that buys the exact top. It, it's really hard, especially when I'm telling you that's a bad idea. Um, but it's human emotions, you know what I mean? I, I warned a lot of people. I got a lot of hate for it, but the thing is though, there's a lot of people that DM me and said, hey man, I'm so glad I'm so glad you said it the way it was. I'm so glad you kept it real because I was just gonna buy more and I didn't because of you. And I'm not saying you shouldn't buy more because of me. I'm just saying I allowed people to see the perspective of, hey, stop falling for this FOMO. Stop falling for the sheep. Stop being a sheeple and start being a people. So that's basically like what happened there, okay? And I'll, yeah, even the shipster, even the shipster was saying, we gotta cool down. I mean, if your name's a shipster, you must be bullish on ship. And even that person was saying it's time to take some profit. So, I'm just saying, you, you know it's real when the ships are saying that. So, but guys, like right now, I mean, ship's popping back up. We'll see once again, is, is this hot, like, is this bouncing up here? Are, are we gonna start working on, is this a higher low and bouncing up? Or are we gonna dump down with a failed rally? Only time will tell, guys. Nobody knows for sure. If somebody says, I know exactly what's gonna happen. This is, it's gonna play out exactly like this. They're wrong, because it, even if it does, they didn't know for sure, there's zero, zero, zero. And I just wanna reiterate, zero certainties out there in the market. So keep that in mind. What's up, Red Bros? Take it easy, homie. May, may the games be with you. You said, imagine Crow at Binance price for three to five years. I mean, guys, Crow could do very well. We'll see. I mean, I think, guys, they're, they're going to get sued by the SEC because it seems like the SEC is suing every central party. So watch out for that. It, uh, it's very interesting. Yeah, the Coinbase ad was amazing, guys. If you did not see that, 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 that was seriously amazing. Um, just for, like, for the Coinbase Super Bowl ad. But, guys, up next... Oh, where to go? Because I added a few things here. I just wanted to point this out right here from uh, Documented Bitcoin, Documented Bitcoin, oh, like on Twitter. It says SEC 13F filings that mention Bitcoin institutional adoption. Guys, yeah, look at this. The jobs just go into the moon. Let's get rid of my face. Let's get rid of my chart. And hopefully, I remember to put it back up. It's just literally all that the 13F SEC filings mentioning Bitcoin by quarter. It's just going to the moon. Now look at that, guys. This is not the run of retailers. This is the run of institutions. So I think it's pretty cool. You can see it on the chart right here. Institutions are gobbling it all up. It's just amazing. Hopefully it continues to do well. And uh, it is what it is. So let's, I'll put my face in the chat up here. Guys, I, I, you guys got to remind me to put my blue light glasses on so you know I can sleep at night. Hey, what's up, Joseph? How we doing, homie? Hope you're having a great night. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, Hero, we, we can't point out the obvious, right? <laughs> the fact that it'll probably never hit that price, but <laughs> we'll, we'll let somebody dream for uh, just for tonight. You guys, it, it does amaze me. Um, bro, like Viper, I, I like the optimism. I really do. But like people don't actually do like the little bit of research it takes, which I've learned a lot from GN. I learned so much from GN, guys. Uh, the way people act like like with new coins, it really just really amazes me. I mean, I, I don't even want to say some things because it really amazes me. And it's just, it's fascinating. But guys, I'm, I'm, I'm turning off the chat in, in the face thing for right now for a reason. Because guys, you look at this guy, circulating supply of, of uh, Crow, 25.26 billion. Let's go over to BNB. Let's just, you know, compare to see, you know, is the supply even similar at all? We got 165 million, million, and it's all out. It looks like it's all out except for one or 
points one or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, I don't see the price happening, guys. It's, it's like we can't be looking at prices and being like, oh, this oh, crowd's gonna hit BNB. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, guys. There's 25 billion with a B. Okay, not gonna happen. Impossible. Okay, unless they burn a lot of stuff. But uh, yeah, so please do just a little bit of research. It literally takes five minutes, and, and you'll get all this figured out. You, you, like for this, the basics, you don't even have to hit up the white paper. That's why when there's Coinbase listings, I always try to hit up these details. I try to hit up the mark cap, where, where you can buy it, and what it's about, which is a very brief detail. Just very brief, to where like literally, you could then like decide based off that info if you want to do any more research, like a deeper dive um, into it. So it is what it is. Uh, was the Joseph circulating supply is also a, a big factor for price movement? I mean, yeah, uh, of course, guys, and and seeing what like when tokens are going to be released into the like into the ecosystem. Was there routine any good trading view tutorials? I mean, I have I, like I have that kind of stuff in the Patreon. But yeah, guys, just check out these details really quick. Hit up Coin Gecko. Also hit up. Uh, Coin Markup and Coin Gecko. I, I say Coin Gecko while we're on Markup. Just, just compare and contrast. There's actually a new platform that should be coming out real soon. Uh, pretty excited to talk to you guys about it, but it's not ready yet. I think that'll be better than Coin Gecko and Coin Markup. So we're waiting for that to be done. I could crow. You could see crow hit maybe twenty bucks if the market. Is, hmm. I don't know, man. Twenty bucks is pretty uh pretty rough there because they're going to be offering in more tokens, man. They're gonna be there's thirty point basically thirty point two billion tokens and twenty five point two are out right now. More tokens are gonna to be coming. I don't know what the what the um, inflation rate is. I don't know, but there's a lot of tokens coming out, guys. BNB doesn't have any more tokens coming out, so just watch out for that. BNB has burns. I don't know if Crow has burns. I'm not sure what's up there. Yeah, yeah, hero. Yeah, just show them the math, man, because I, I I don't see that happening. I mean, I can sit here and make a video and get a lot of views from it because pe people like it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Um, just being real, you know. You just yeah, it's just not gonna happen. I'd love to say, oh yeah, it can happen. You know, mark cap doesn't matter, but to a certain point, it does matter. So they just watch out for that, guys. Gas fees are pretty low right now. It's probably time to uh, you know stop everything you're doing and go buy some NFTs. Where, oh, I forgot this. I forgot to bookmark it. Here it is. Let's pull it up real quick. The Ethereum trains out. I, I, I like watching this bad boy right here. Look at this, guys. We got we got the, uh, what, what are those things called? Is this uh, Family Guy? Is this uh, uh, The Simpsons? Uh, uh, no, er, er, Everybody Loves Raymond? Uh, oh, no. You know what? I, I think this is, uh, oh, my. What is it called? South Park. I think it's South Park. I'm not sure if, I'm not sure if they have an escrow. Cybersecurity is definitely a big deal, guys, for sure. I have not checked that coin out in a hot minute, Todd. Um, what's up, Joseph? Why not both? Why not both, bro? Um I don't use Coinbase well. I have one, but I just did it to sign up for that punk to try to win their punk. But I I, I don't use it because it's Coinbase. Um, I use Coinbase for Fiat on ramp, and that is about it. Uh, I mean, I guess I do have I, I I take care of the earns and I just let them sit there. But that's a teeny tiny amount of my portfolio, so I don't really count that. Actually, I forget I have it, and then I'm like, oh wow, okay, well there's something there too. It is what it is. Yeah, I mean, why not diversify? Why not go from there? I mean, personally, guys, Ledger, I think I like a Ledger is great if you guys want one. Link's down below. Um, you guys, just friendly reminder, things down below are things I personally use, so I'm not showing stuff I don't use. Um, bullish on imposters, bro. That is Elio Trade's um, NFT set. Bullish. Um, so, guys, I've really been out of the loop today um, in crypto. I'm sorry. Um, it's very disappointing. But anyways, so for, please correct me if I'm wrong, because like I said, I've been out of the loop Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure he's starting the mint at three Ethereum, and it's gonna be an auction. Where's his Discord? Um, I yeah, I'm bullish on this project, guys. It's it's Elio Trades. Like there's, you know, what I mean, it's just a bull bullish. Um, but yeah, correct me. I'm pretty sure it's three ETH to, or maybe I'm getting the wrong project in my mind. So, 
Oh, you can't adjust your gas fees in yet, yeah, guys. I think if you're gonna use Ethereum, use MetaMask. Like, come on, guys. I, I have a video on it. Use MetaMask. Utilize that. Um, don't be a silly goose, guys. Did, I think this web, website's pretty dope. You got Bitcoin on here, but who really cares about watching Bitcoin transaction? Bitcoin trash. I mean, <laughs> why do they even have that here? But I mean, I think Ethereum. It's most useful to see. You know, guys, it's pretty low gas fees. There's obviously no NFTs minting right now, so it is pretty good at the moment. Um, uh, hey, what's up, real transport homie? Scroll down on the website, check the low fee line. You guys, look at the low fee line. We got all these, all these um, cheap people around here. Look at all Carl and I, I don't even really watch South Park that often, but I'm not even sure what their names are. But look at all these cheap people, guys. They are like, uh, we we, we want to pay nothing today, son. Look at that. Look at that. It's all backed up. Uh, Ethereum is a pay to play. It is a pay to play. Yeah, this gas tra tracker is pretty cool, guys. Uh, it's just, it's a cool visual. Um, it really does help, like, because it, it really breaks it down. Like, yo, this is literally a bus. It's a little, literally a bus. And, you know, it is what it is. It's pretty cool to watch. So... The only thing it does, it doesn't smack the like button. So maybe you guys can smack it for it. It would help it out. Uh, but you guys also wanted to mention, like, regarding the Charlie Munger thing, how he says, you know, you guys only want to make money by doing nothing civilization, which, I mean, I just want to say. You guys already know my thoughts on that. The point, though, guys, fiat currency, you know, if you guys are not aware, by definition, is a government-issued currency that is not backed by a commodity such as gold. Fiat money gives central banks a great control over the economy because they can control how much money is printed. Most modern paper currencies, such as the US dollar, are fiat currencies. So if you're unaware, these things are not backed by anything other than the people say this is a dollar, which even our dollar, our purchasing power, is taken away from us. You know, this is basically the um, modern slavery, guys. Nobody wants to talk about it because people get offended, but this is modern like slavery, and your social security number is your slave number. So they don't want to say that because that's, you know, it's not the cool thing to say, but guys, it is what it is. I'm not here to tell you, you know, to make you feel better. I'm just saying how things are, okay? Just spitting the facts. So unfortunately, it is what it is. But the thing is, though, you know, I'm not saying you should sit here and be all mad or upset or bitter. I'm just saying you need to take this information and you need to take some action. So you're not just like every other slave out there. So you are prepared for when things start going south. You know what I mean? So you know about Bitcoin, you know about crypto, blockchain technology, Web3, Web4, NFTs. Come on, guys. You guys know it all. You guys can set yourself off to hopefully, potentially become financially free in the future if you're not already. So that's seriously something to consider. And you yeah, guys, it's just serious to um, understand how the system works. It's literally down to strap you in there, lock you up, and uh, basically, you're just in jail. You know what I mean? You're just basically in jail, but but you think you're free. Um, so and if you guys understand what Abraham Lincoln did, you guys understand what happened. I think it was the 13th uh, thing or whatever it's called. They never really said slavery was illegal. They just modified it to where slaves can't own slaves. So that's how it works. And I know it's not, not the cool thing to say, but guys, it's facts. So like, look it up yourself. Um, it, it's just kind of crazy how it all works. So please stop being a sheeple. Oh, okay. That like that's my when I went to hit the sheeple thing, I hit my mic on, on the stream deck. That's I'm like, how did I do that? Okay, that's my bad. Thank you. You guys, the button to get to the sheeple is right next to the mic, so that is uh, I hit the wrong one. Anyways, uh, where were we after? I was. Uh, I'm glad I saw that right away. But yeah, bro, um, tag me in that. I I, I did not see that uh, tweet. So the dollar is backed by the promise of the Fed that it'll be worth something. Normally, the promises remains intact, e even if a wheelbarrow full of cash to buy. <laughs> oh my goodness! Even if it, like, even if you need a billion dollars to buy a loaf of bread, I love it. The self-proclaimed GM pump guru on Twitter. That was who is the self-proclaimed um, GM pumper? Thanks, guys. Yeah, the mic definitely went down. Um, yeah, I, I pressed the, the wrong button.
That is uh, very unfortunate, but uh, you know, it is what it is. The Fed will continue to make it rain, guys. It will continue to rain. They will make the money come down from the tree. I do not think we're gonna see um, inflation coming. I don't think they're gonna raise rates, guys. I'd, I'd, I'd be willing to put some money on it. I think they're gonna be like, oh, guys, we're gonna raise the rates, and then we're gonna say we're not gonna raise the rates, and then, yeah, like they're just playing a game, guys. This is all one big game. They're literally just playing with you, like the little puppets, those little string thingies. Um, yeah, so just watch out. Oh, Donald said that Fiat is backed by unicorn farts and happy thoughts. I mean, that sounds about right, guys. It's backed by uh, nothing. Um, it is what it is. But, but like I said, you can take the knowledge and you can prepare yourself for, hey, what if the U.S. dollar is going to collapse? What if the U.S. dollar lo like loses its global reserve you know, like currency? Um, guys, China, Russia, they're doing things to, uh, you know, let's just say take over the dollar. So um, it's been going for a while. It is what it is. So... The thing is, though, just be prepared, see what's happening, so that you're not caught, you know, like, oh, what's going on? You, you know, like, you know what I mean? You don't want that to happen. Or, or, or maybe you do. Maybe you want to be a sheeple. Hey, you do whatever floats your boat. Just, uh, yeah, don't uh, cry about it then. You know what I mean? I think, like, self kind of building stuff like that's great. What's up, James? Maybe the best low life wins this. I, I love to see the stoner punks win crypto, gives the opportunity for financial freedom. And uh, yeah, of course, guys, of course, and freedom. Definitely. <laughs> Being the thing, yeah, sca the, yeah, the scapegoat if, like, for inflation. Yeah, they always come up with some reason. Awesome, bro. I appreciate you said you posted the thread in Discord. Awesome. I'll definitely hit that up. Thank you, man. Cool, cool, yeah. Your, uh, your alpha solbs in there, it looks like. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, cool. I'll, I'll check that out then. But yeah, of course, everything already costs more, guys. Inflation is, uh, is inflation. It's going up. I know they're saying what 7.5% or whatever nonsense. It's gonna be a lot more. You guys, why not, like, why not go over this thing now, guys? El Elliot trades of the imposters. Says, let me get it straight. Elliot's new project is minting around, oh, two ETH for whitelist, and their public Dutch auction starts at three ETH, which will net over $60 million. Now he claims the project has been in development for years with 30 world-class engineers and build, builders with experience working at AA Studios. Yet he has only listed two people under the team and disregards all the other amazing builders. Let me tell you why. Marty Kaplan is the head of Amber Studio, a game development studio that offers game development services. Makes sense. Elio hired an external game developer studio to make a game for him. And through this, he's now selling his NFTs for over 60 mil. His claims have been that the game is created by his own team at Super Farm, both in his videos and on the website. While it's literally an ex external remaining agency developing the product, do you think it costs anywhere near 60 mil to hire that agency? Zero chance. So here he says, um, Elio's in Discord saying that, soon to come, Illuvium, Star Atlas, Syndicate, Phantom Galaxies and Imposters, my studio. He says his studio. Who, who, what's going on here? We got some juicy, juicy drama here in the crypto space, guys. Smash that like, smash that subscribe if you guys have not already. It says, do you think all 30 world-class engineers at that studio worked on this one game for years? Zero chance. Maybe they put aside a few weekends after Christmas to finish it up. Full on false advertising. If you look at the imposter's roadmap, it's divided into three phases, but their beta isn't even out till phase two. You're selling $60 million worth plus of NFTs for a game that's been in development for years, yet won't even be in beta until months after the sale. Which is just showing, I guess, the roadmap right here, phase one, phase two. Elio made this sound like a passionate in-house project while he simply hired an external agency to make a quick, small game, using his own influence to bring the hype. As far as I can see, the only real team behind this whole thing and Super Farm, excluding the hired agency, is himself and one developer, that's it. Anyone could do this without enough influence and money. There's no real skill, passion, or direction behind this. It's a blatant cash grab for a person who states that blockchain games are the future, yet hires an external agency to create the game instead of forming an actual team to create the, the very future of he that he shows. After Raid Party and Pixmon, I hope you don't fall for this. Yeah, guys, uh, seriously, be careful. Can, can you profit? Maybe. But do you really want to risk it on a project of a guy who told you to expect a 3 to 5x return on major coins when Bitcoin was above 60k? I know I won't. Um, so, guys, I mean, I think this is very interesting. I, I, I like to look at uh, all sides of the story. Um, I, I want to look into this some more. 
But uh, very interesting, guys. Very interesting. I, I like the way, like, with Neo Tokyo, their first set was free. And then they then they sold it for one ETH for the second set. So, I mean, it is uh, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But I still think there, there's a lot of hype and people will buy it. Peter said, ew, with emails and ew. I, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about emails and stuff. I'd rather stick with the addresses. <laughs> you guys are going to call me a boomer. What do you mean you want to use an address, boomer? Why, why can't we use our email address? <laughs> why, why can't we use our, uh, our, our phone number? Or why would you want to use a phone number? Um, yeah, I, I don't think he's going to rug people. I, I don't think uh, Imposters is going to rug. I, I don't think that will happen. I mean, apparently Becker really likes uh, Elio, so that's all I have to say about that is that he's bullish on Elio. So that's actually a very good sign, um, if you guys have not noticed. And do you invest in projects which are audited? That for me is first and foremost. I mean, of course, and as audited projects, especially the, the, like the NFT space. The thing is, though, there there are faces out here. Um, it is a little disappointing to see. Like, you go to their website. It is a little disappointing, uh, for what I just read there on that. I have to do my own research, but I mean, yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, it does seem like a cash grab. You know, plus thirty talented. So where are they? You know, what I mean, that is definitely. A little disappointing. So it, it it is what it is. Please do not get uh you know your hope like your hopes up. It's gonna be a high mint. Yeah, here I I agree. H bar is nothing too um crazy in my humble opinion. But you know, it's just my opinion. But you guys, that is all we had on the agenda for tonight. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. Yeah, that's all we have tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. Smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button if you guys have not already. We're live Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Friday, we're going to be live earlier in the day. So watch out for an earlier live stream. Uh, probably before uh, probably before 3 p.m. I don't know exactly because Friday's going to be a weird day for me. Um, yeah, I don't know exactly. But because there's another tournament that I have to play. And i got to practice and i got to be ready. Uh, I, I can't be worried about live streaming. I, I, I can't be doing that. But I do want to live someday, some, sometime that day. So I will be live. I'll see you guys then. Um, seriously, though, guys, seriously, thank you for watching. Um, smash the like, subscribe. You guys want to support the channel, hit up links down below. And until next time, may the gains be with you.